Samsung is getting ready to shake the foldable world again, and this time it feels personal. Behind the scenes, the company is quietly building a brand new wide fold phone, clearly aimed at taking on Apple's very first iPhone fold. And now fresh mockups are finally giving us a real taste of what Samsung has planned. According to early signs, this wide fold could arrive in the second half of 2026, launching alongside the regular Galaxy Z Fold 8 and Galaxy Z Flip 8. That timing alone makes it clear Samsung is preparing for a serious showdown. Last month, leaks revealed Samsung is making two fold models for 2026. The second isn't a budget phone, but a new passport style fold called the wide fold. Thanks to detailed mockups shared by Tipster Universe Ice, we finally see how bold this new design really is. Unlike the tall and narrow Galaxy Z Fold phones, we know the wide fold looks shorter, wider, and more balanced in the hand. In fact, it looks strikingly similar to the upcoming iPhone Fold. Both phones appear to use a punch hole camera on the cover display. The main visual difference comes down to attitude. Samsung goes for sharper, more square corners, while Apple keeps things softer and rounder. The display sizes tell an even bigger story. The wide fold is rumored to feature a 7.6 inch main display and a 5.4 inch cover screen. Apple's foldable is expected to land almost exactly there too, with a 5.35 inch cover display and a 7.58 inch inner screen. That strongly hints both companies are moving toward a wider 4x3 foldable format, leaving tall narrow designs behind. And here's a twist longtime fans will love. Rumors suggest the wide fold could bring back S Pen support. Samsung previously removed stylus support from the Galaxy Z Fold 7 to make it thinner and lighter, but this new form factor might finally bring the pen back where it belongs. One thing is clear, Samsung is not waiting for Apple to define the future of foldables. The wide fold feels like a direct response, and the next few months should reveal just how serious this new chapter really is. For years, foldables have been Samsung's playground, and now Apple is finally stepping in. Reports suggest Apple could unveil its first foldable iPhone in 2026. That is nearly seven years after Samsung jumped into the foldable game back in 2019. Late, careful, and very Apple. But here is where things get interesting. According to fresh leaks, the Galaxy Z Fold 8 may already be lining up some clear advantages over Apple's first foldable attempt. A well-known Chinese tipster digital chat station claims the foldable iPhone will feature a 5.25-inch cover display and a 7.58-inch inner foldable screen. On the back, it is said to use a dual camera setup. The outer screen may have a punch hole camera, while the inner display could rely on an under-display camera hidden beneath the panel. If this turns out to be accurate, Apple's foldable will look compact next to Samsung's next fold. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 already comes with a 6.5-inch cover display and a massive 8-inch inner screen. That means the Galaxy Z Fold 8 will likely match or even push beyond those sizes, giving users more screen, more space, and more immersion, even if the aspect ratios differ. Cameras could be another area where Samsung pulls ahead. The Galaxy Z Fold 7 packs a triple rear camera system led by a 200-megapixel main sensor with optical image stabilization, backed by a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera with autofocus, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens offering three times optical zoom. In comparison, the foldable iPhone is rumored to stick with a 48 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization and an ultra wide camera, likely 12 megapixel, with no dedicated telephoto lens. There is also the front camera story. Under display cameras still struggle with image quality. Samsung already uses two 10 megapixel front cameras across both displays on the Galaxy Z Fold 7. If that setup continues, the Galaxy Z Fold 8 could deliver clearer selfies and better video calls than Apple's hidden camera approach. Both devices are expected to arrive in the second half of 2026. On paper, Samsung looks ready with bigger displays and stronger camera hardware. But as always, real-world quality is where the true winner will be decided.